I'm here to do your fourth math video now and the worksheet we're going to look at comes in the science section because scientists really do use math. We're going to look at what's called a bar graph today and your bar graph we did this when we showed which apple most people like the flavor of way back in September and here we've got a jar with some uh, invertebrates in it. You've got your ladybugs, caterpillars, and ants, and they show up on your graph as different categories when you sort. Ladybugs, caterpillars, ants. Now these rectangles above them are supposed to build up depending on how many you have in your collection. You can start with an estimate. You can glance at that and without even counting your brain might see which you have the most of already. But let's practice using a bar graph. So right here, we're going to count the ladybugs first. One, two, three. I already colored those in on my first try on this video, but do it with me. One, two, three. You can do it in color and it really shows up. Three ladybugs is a bar three units high. Let's count our caterpillars. One, two. So how many units do I color in? That's right. One, two. And now we haven't finished yet, but we can compare just like we do when we roll the dice or measure height or length. So, do we have more ladybugs or caterpillars? You can see it right there. The, the ladybug bar goes higher, so we have more ladybugs. And how many more? Well, both have one, both have two, but only one has three. So we have one more, one more ladybug than we have caterpillars.